guys, I'm here in my office today. You can see the uh, <clears throat> the bookshelf behind me. I've actually got another one over here and the whiteboard over here. Um, but today, I want to I want to talk to you guys about how to get started in real estate. Okay, you know, real estate allows me to have a home office. It was one of the first things when I got into this business nine years ago. That was like a chief goal for me was I didn't want to go to the bank and work. Uh, you know, 40, 45 hours a week. I didn't want to have to be the previous job I had before that at Sprint managing 60 hours a week in the building. I wanted to be able to work from home. You see my my kids, we homeschool our kids and our family. So my kids are around. Um, they're actually outside doing, uh, doing school right now. Um, but my kids are around. I can see my wife. I can go out to lunch. I can just walk upstairs and... Um, and live the life that I want to do. I'm able to integrate that. And I can do all of that by, because of real estate investing, because of getting started in this business six or not six, nine years ago, guys. And so I want to, I want to open up and just kind of share how you can get started today and make some steps that will change your life. Like it changed my life. Um, guys, this is, um, this is what I do. I'm the, I'm the host of uh, the Forge to Win podcast. If you guys find this valuable, I would just, uh, you know, when watching this, just like this, subscribe to uh, to my channel. Um, if you find this valuable, if you don't, then uh, then don't worry about it. But I, I hope to add some value and really get you kickstarted on your way to that direction. So um, that's what we're going to get started. That's what we're going to talk about today and, and get started talking about is how do we get started investing in real estate? So so how do we do that? So. Uh, nine years ago, I was working at JP Morgan Chase. And um, before that, I was a store manager at Sprint. And, um, you know, I, I got started and, and I was in sales selling cell phones and I got into the bank and I was, you know, people would walk in and I would help them. I'd sell them a credit card and open up a bank account. And, you know, they would move money. And, and uh, one day a guy came in let's talk to him. And he had a good chunk of money at that time in, in his bank account. And, uh, I think it was like $210,000. And, uh, at that time that was like, you know, insane amount of money to me, right? I'm like, geez. And I'm helping him out and I help him and his mom move money. Well, about four months go by four or five months go by. And, uh, I'm looking and at the bank, you get a notification of people you help of when they do big deposits. And uh, their notification came in on the screen. I looked it up and there had been a $3 million deposit into this guy's bank account. So I ended up calling him up and I said, hey, you know, what, the, what a, like uh, your money came in, you know, I'm being, I'm being nice and I'm, I'm, you know, informing him and connecting with him. And I finally was like, hey, man, like, what do you do? And he said, uh, you know, I, I flipped a, I flipped an apartment complex and uh, this is the proceeds. We added value to it and uh, we turned it and flipped it and these are the proceeds. And from then on, I was like, man, I'm hooked. Like, I want to I want to make that. So he ended up he was gracious enough. He took me out to lunch and he pointed me to another uh, group and seminar that I went to and learned from. Well, at the seminar, they talked about wholesaling real estate. They they mentioned, hey, you know, you can find houses, you can find deals that people want to invest in, and you can put them under contract, and you can turn around and you can sell your rights to that contract to someone who's actually going to invest in that property, and you can make a fee. You can sell it for $5,000. You can sell it for $4,000. You can sell it for $15,000. And the guy told the story on how he made $18,000 in three properties in five hours. And I was like, what? Okay. I'm hooked. So I emailed the guy. He was gracious enough to respond to me. And he pointed me to some education and kicked off. And three months later, guys, three months of learning. It took me and I did my very, very first wholesale deal. It was only $3,000. At this point, I'd spend over $5,000 of my own money at that time that I, I didn't have extra to, to spend. I made three grand and I wholesaled my first property to another investor. And that was how I jump started and got here. So guys, at the very beginning, you might start, you might have to learn, you might have to jump through that. But I'm hoping that in this quick start, it will shorten that time frame. What took me about a year and a half 
to really put together and find. My hope is that through this video, you'll be able to kickstart that journey, jump in and make your first three, five, 10, $25,000 or buy your first uh, investment property, you know, in a much shorter time frame than what I did. So what's the first thing you need to do if you guys are getting started? Okay. So the first, the very first thing you need to do is you need to figure out where do I want to invest, right? Where do I want to figure out that? What market are you going to be into? And really figure out the, the area and the location. Um, you really want an area that's got a few hundred thousand people, you know, 500, 600, 700,000 people. So there's enough people in the area where there's transactions happening, right? Where you can, you can buy, there might be a few thousand investors, there might be 10 plus thousand investors, depending on your per particular area. But you want to learn the area, you want to learn what three bedroom houses are selling for in specific neighborhoods, you want to know all of the different pockets. And one of the best ways you can do this is just by driving around to the area, go on Zillow, go on Redfin, look up some market data, but then drive around and see the different neighborhoods and get to know your market, learn what it is. And as you kind of uh, learn it, define a certain criteria of what you're looking for to find, Hey, I like this neighborhood. I like this. Hey, there's some houses over here and start to learn the market because market knowledge is really going to help you and understanding the types of homes that are available, what houses need work, what neighborhoods that investors are working in. And you're going to get an overall price point that's going to, as you start connecting and telling people what you want, it's going to start giving you an edge. When you see a property, you're going to be like, ooh, I know that that's a $200,000 neighborhood and they're selling it for one twenty. dollars uh, Let me look at that property and see if it's something I'm interested in. So you really want to learn your target market and learn the area drive around, look it up on the internet and figure out what you want to buy in that area. You want the, the goal here is clarity, right? Clarity on the types of houses, clarity on the neighborhood, clarity on the price points, clarity on the different neighborhoods. And it's just going to give you an edge when you're walking in. See, real estate guys is a local business, okay? It's local. Every single market is different than every other market, right? The market in, say, West Michigan, where I'm at, is completely different than the market in East side of the state. In Detroit, in those areas, the markets are completely separate. Detroit's market is completely different than the market I started off in, which is Dallas, Texas. They have different markets, they have different buyers, they have different properties that are good to invest in, and they have different price points. And so understanding that market is really, guys, it is your first step to winning as you become a real estate investor. So figure out what market you want to be in and then go out and learn everything you can about that market. Now, after you've figured out your market, Okay, after you've gone in and you've researched it, you've decided where you want to go. Next, you need to figure out what type of strategy do you want to employ in uh, starting your real estate journey? Okay, and there's three primary strategies that you're looking at. One is wholesaling, which I, I explained a little bit earlier, right? It's finding the property, it's putting that property under contract, it's finding another investor, and it's assigning your interest to buying that house to that investor for a fee, okay? So number one is wholesaling. And uh, before I even actually go into the next one, there's really two. You can either do short-term strategies or you can do long-term strategies. And wholesaling is a short-term strategy. You can make money in real estate literally as fast as two weeks, four weeks, five weeks. You can make, it's the fastest way to make money as a real estate investor. When I got started, and I started looking for deals, I got started because, uh, or I got started by wholesaling. I found a property, I negotiated with the seller, I got a price and I sold that to a buyer for $3,000. That was the strategy I chose initially. The second strategy you can choose is if you want to fix and flip the property, which means you're gonna buy the property, you're gonna purchase that property, and you're gonna turn around and you're gonna do some type of renovation, right? It could be cosmetic, it could be, larger than that. 
Um, but you're going to do some type of renovation. I was just on a podcast. I just interviewed a guy. Go to the Forge to Win podcast. And I just interviewed T.C. Greenwood. And T.C. Uh, talked to, when he bought his first property, he bought it at auction. And he walked in and it was fire damage. And he got in and did a massive rehab for his very first property. Now, I don't recommend that. But that is the strategy that you can jump in and you can start. And TC, when he got done with the property, he made over $100,000 on that first property. Like he killed it. Now he took on a massive amount of risk, but he killed it because he understood his market in Detroit. And he really went in with massive amounts of confidence. So strategy number two is a fix and flip strategy. Strategy number three that you could choose is some type of hold strategy, okay, where you're going to hold the property long term. This could be a rental where you want to buy it and you want to rent it. You could buy it, fix it up, um, rent the property and refinance the property, okay, and you could hold it long term and get the cash flow. Uh, You could buy it with owner financing and seller financing, and you could sell it owner financing and seller financing and become a mortgage holder. Um, And there's lots of other strategies for buy and hold that you can research later, but you can hold the properties for passive income and hold that property to build net worth, to build passive income, and to go down that route. So those are the three primary strategies that you have in your arsenal to choose from. Those are the only ways to make money in real estate. And so you need to figure out after you've researched your market, okay, what do I, what what strategy do I want to do? Do I want to wholesale? and get money now and give myself a cushion in my bank account? You know, do I want to make $50,000 and put that aside so I have some money to play with? And then I want to start buying and holding? Do I just want to take the money I have, buy the real estate and create passive income and have that mailbox money come in? Um, You really need to decide what strategy you want to do. You can start wholesaling like I did. You could jump into fix and flip and do that like TC did in the story I just shared. Or you could jump in and start building a portfolio of rentals to offset your taxes and start getting that cash flow coming in right away. But you need to sit down, sit down and have a meeting with yourself and say, what best accomplishes my goals to financial freedom, to give me the life I want? Is it extra cash now that will pad my bank account or is it cash flow and building cash flow coming in because I've got a good source of income and you need to sit down And ask yourself one of those questions, because when I did that and I got clear on not only where I wanted to invest, but I also got clear on what strategy I wanted, it allowed me to have a crystal clear focus. And that crystal clear focus, guys, that is powerful. That is extremely powerful. I think it was Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich. He said, you know, a lot of people say knowledge is power, but that's false. Knowledge is potential power. Okay, then he goes on and say, knowledge directed in a strategy to make money, that is power. And so being able to not only find your market, but determine and define your strategy, guys, that is what is going to give you the rocket fuel to be able to launch your business in a way that brings clarity and accomplishes the goals that you're looking for. So guys, get clear on the strategy that you're going to employ, whether it's short-term wholesales, whether it's fix and flip, or whether it's buy and hold. When you get clear and you know your market, now you have a you have a massive runway ahead of you to get started where the fun begins. And the last thing you need to do after you choose your strategy is you need to turn on the engine, boys and girls. You need to get leads. You need to find deals. And this is this is my favorite part. As a real estate investor, Your ability to find deals dictates your success, okay? Your ability to hone your knowledge, figure out your clarity, and then find good deals, that's where you're going to win. And that's where your focus should be, okay? So there's different ways that you can find good deals, okay? You can, if you're a fix and flipper or a buy and hold guy, you can do it through relationships. Look, a lot of the deals are not found through real estate agents, You can find them through real estate agents, but a lot of the good deals are not found through real estate agents. They're not found on the MLS. They're not found through, uh, you know, going and seeing for self by owner signs. They're found in one of two ways. 
They're found by building relationships with other wholesalers and partnering with them, either buying the property from them or JVing with them, or they're found by seller direct marketing, okay? By reaching out to the seller directly, okay? And now there's a number of different ways you can do this. If you're just getting started and you don't have a whole lot of money to spend toward it, you can get in your car, drive around. There is an app called Deal Machine that you can download on your phone. And you can drive around and you can take pictures of the house with the app of ones that look vacant, look distressed, look like they need some work. And then you can literally skip trace them right there on there. You can get their the, the person's phone number on the app. It'll find their phone number. You can hit the call button and you can call them and talk to these people about their properties. Tell them you're interested and you get started. And that, guys, you can do that in under $50. You can get started right away by driving around, taking pictures, getting these people's phone numbers directly from this app and calling them and having a conversation like literally under under 50, under $100 and you're already getting started in the local market connecting with sellers. Another way that you can do is you can send people letters in the mail, right? You can hand write letters on like little yellow notepads. Um, I got yellow notepads all over. So you can handwrite letters. Hey, I would be interested in buying your home if you're open to sell. And you can send out letters, right? You can send out postcards and there's different services there too. But you can get started by reaching out and solving homeowners problems because they have these properties, they're not fixed up. And you can talk to them about possibly buying them and reaching out and saying you're a real estate investor. Now, if, if you're not wholesaling, and you're either just fix and flipping or you're looking at building a rental portfolio, one of the most powerful ways to uh, find deals is by creating a network of other wholesalers, okay? So, so the wholesaler model, like I mentioned earlier, is about finding investors who wanna invest in the properties. They are looking for other individuals who wanna invest in real estate. Like literally they are looking for people wanting to invest in real estate. So if you are getting into this and want to fix and flip houses, these people are literally out there spending their time, their money, their energy, phone calls, all of that, finding discounted properties for you to buy. So if you create a network of people, now a lot of people, they'll come in the back, hey, can I get on my email list? And surely you will get emails with discounted properties that are off market. There are opportunities to buy. But the way the real money is, guys, where you find the real deals is when you build a relationship with that person. You add value. You show them how you can close on the property. You deliver on your word. When you say you're going to do it, you do do it. You offer other ways and value either time, money, or additional knowledge that you can help them with their business so they can make some money. But if you build a relationship of 10 wholesalers in your area, other people finding properties. You have 10 people out in the marketplace looking for properties according to your criteria. This is why we started with the market and understanding which areas you wanted to buy in and your strategy. Because if you can communicate clearly to that wholesaler, to that individual out there looking for properties, this is where I'm looking to buy and this is what I want to buy in my strategy and my criteria. Well, now that person, those 10 people rather, are out looking for properties. Now you might get emails. I recommend, you know, you can get emails, but unsubscribe from them, right? Unsubscribe. Don't look at the emails. You can, if you want, but make it relational. Send a text message. Hey, is there anything I can help you with? Hey, do you have any deals? What does it look like? Anything, anything in my target area and touch base with them once, twice a week, once a month, take them out to lunch, figure out what problems they're having, solve their problems and treat those people well. And you will have a pipeline of properties coming to you that you can choose from that nobody else sees. Like literally they will be finding properties directly for you and you don't need to use your time. You don't need to use your money and you don't need to be a good negotiator and, and work on a sales process with a seller to try to buy their property. You literally have other wholesalers coming to you with their deals and then you can analyze them and decide, hey, I like this deal. I don't like this deal. I want to go down this direction. I don't want to go down this direction. And you will have those coming to you. So I have spent the last nine years of my career focusing on 
finding discounted deals in any way possible. Okay, guys, that is seller direct, right? Direct mail, what list to pull, how to manage the data, how to talk to the sellers, connecting with wholesalers. What are wholesalers looking for? How do they build their business? What do they want out of a cash buyer? Connecting with real estate agents and asking them, hey, if you see a property and working, they're in the marketplace. They are in the community talking to these people. They have the opportunity too to bring you deals. Guys, this is something I've focused on and finding, finding good deals is the core of being a real estate investor, looking for those opportunities and being able to capitalize on that, whether it's partnering with somebody else, selling it to another investor, buying it and fixing it up and putting it on the market for a profit yourself, or buying it and putting it in a rental portfolio and holding that and getting mailbox money, three, four, five hundred dollars a month of checks just rolling in. You get 10 of those properties at $400 a month, that's $4,000. That covers a lot of people's basic living expense, housing, food. Guys, it can completely change your life and you can have people coming directly to you with those deals or you can have a strategy of finding them. That is the core of jumping into real estate initially. Guys, it's, it's time to get started. I know that a lot of you are, are out there looking at this. It's time to take action. If you want to change your life, like I did nine years ago, when I saw this guy deposit $3 million, I had a conversation, I took action. I went to a seminar. Once from the seminar, I reached out to the guy, asked him about the strategy. He pointed me to another book. I finally got a strategy on starting making money. And then I took action. I started handwriting letters and I sent them. Take small action today. Start making those adjustments because all it takes is one deal. One property. Guys, one property can completely change your life. One property will make you $5,000, right? What could you do with an extra $5,000 right now? One property might make you $45,000. Like TC earlier, one property might make you eighty dollars to $100,000 in the next six months. And the, the, the gap between getting that first property and where you're at now is taking action to find good deals. Driving around the neighborhood, taking pictures, calling sellers, calling all of the wholesalers, getting on Facebook or other social media and asking around and building a community and, at, and telling people what you're looking for. It is time to take action to change your future. Like I was at the beginning, my main goal was I wanted to work from home. I had my third baby on the way, Ilan. Um, you know, my wife was pregnant. I was going to an office and um, I was in real estate at this point, but I was still going to an office, right? I was still partners with other people. I was working around, around the clock. My goal was freedom. And once I engaged in this and I trusted in myself and I started taking action. Guys, I, in, in a month period, I made more money than I thought was possible because I took action. I went out there, I looked for properties, I talked to sellers, I talked to wholesalers, I understood the strategies and I had opportunities coming my way. Guys, get out there and have opportunities coming your way because as opportunities start flowing to you, you get to choose what you want to do. And when you choose what you want to do, that first deal that you get, guys, that first deal that you get, it will change it. You'll remember it for the rest of your life. And it will change. It'll set you on the direction of accomplishing your goals. Whether you want to, like me, be able to work from home and be able to have a home office and be involved in your kids' lives, in your spouse's life, or whether it's maybe you don't want to have that four-hour work week life. Maybe you want to really impact the community. Maybe you have big dreams and you need money to be able to, to pursue those dreams. And so this is an opportunity to increase that ceiling. Whatever that is for you guys, right? Whatever it is that you're looking for out there, real estate is one of the number one ways, real estate investing, in order to build wealth. And so I encourage you, take action. Take action today. It doesn't matter if you make three grand, you make 10 grand. It doesn't matter if you call 20 people a day. Whatever action you take, be consistent. 
and talk to people because it will completely change. It will completely change your life. So guys, it is time to get started in this business and achieve that freedom that I know you're looking for and achieve that freedom I know you're looking for. See, guys, I've spent a great deal of my life finding good deals and passing them off to other investors. What a lot of people don't know is I've also spent a lot of my time helping other investors get to where they're at. Okay. So, and my, my strategy is really around getting clear, helping people get clear and helping people come to an option that will allow good deals to flow to them. So if you are interested, if you found value in this, please like it, please subscribe to my channel here. I would greatly appreciate it. Share it with others. But also if you want help kind of building a system, go to ronaldwalker.com. I've got tons of free resources. I've got a podcast. I've got other things that can help you along your journey uh, this way. And if you want my help, I would love for you to reach out to us and we can work with you. Otherwise, guys, man, get started, define your market, figure out your strategy and start finding good deals. And if you do this, freedom, guys, is right around the corner for those who will pursue it. Until next time, guys. Peace.